Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. So I'm going to be pulling on some energy um, for love. We're going to see how your person feels about you, as well as the surrounding circumstances of your relationship. This could be somebody you're in a partnership with already, um, somebody you're in separation from. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what is the overall energy for you, Pisces. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So make sure to check your other placements. I've already done fire signs. Also, this is general, so not every message will resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is timeless, so whenever you click on the reading, that's when the messages could apply to you the most. Spirit, give me some energy for Pisces. What would you like for Pisces to know? Love energy. How does their person feel about them? Messages for Pisces. Okay. Three of Cups. Somebody could feel, I'm hearing like a cheap thrill. Somebody could just feel as if you want to have a good time. You're into third parties. Like you're not really looking for love. Not seriously at least. Give me an energy for how Pisces person feels. Okay. The other energy is the six of wands. So for some of you, somebody feels like you feel as if you're going to be successful being in like this party energy, this party lifestyle. Something may have worked for you for some time, but somebody just feels as if you're not really serious when it comes to the romance department. You're not looking for love. Give me an energy for the three of cups. Lots of three of cups here for Pisces. Something can have to do with your image. You could like a lot of attention, clout temperance sagittarius energy um this person feels like you need to calm down like it's time for you to change your ways it's time for you to find balance when it comes to your romantic life give me another energy for the three of cups i have yeah the two of wands so you need to move in another direction when it comes to your relationship or relationships plural for some of you i feel like this person wants you to settle down they want you to leave behind the fast life give me an energy for temperance trade that in for home you know family Something that is long-term, a commitment. Give me an energy for temperance. Why is temperance here? Or Pisces, this could be how you feel. You know, the roles could be reversed. Take it as it resonates. The king of wands. I'm hearing what you seek after. Give me another energy for temperance. Ten of swords. For some of you, this is somebody that you were already in a relationship with. Something could have ended very badly. Give me an energy for the King of Wands and you moved on. This person moved on, single. Give me an energy for the King of Wands. For some of you, this Three of Cups energy um, could have played a huge role. You know, somebody wanting to entertain other people, having options. Yeah, the Chariot, somebody had to move on here. For some of you, you could have gotten, gotten a divorce. Cancerian energy on the chariot. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? The Four of Wands. So somebody had to move on and actually look for a commitment. Something that's serious. Something that's solid. Um, I feel like somebody had to leave you behind. Or Pisces, this person feels like you had to leave them behind. Give me an energy for the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here for Pisces? What is the energy? Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, the Magician. Somebody's manifesting better for themselves. They're manifesting temperance. They're manifesting a lot of balance when it comes to their love life. So for some of you, this is how this person could be viewing you. Like once you were into the party lifestyle and now you're ready to become more settled, have something that's more stable. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? What is the energy? 
take things more seriously. I have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like something had to keep happening over and over again until you learned a lesson. I feel like something was hard for you to get when it came to your relationships. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? What is the energy? Oh yeah, the Eight of Swords. I feel like this Eight of Swords is another energy. Somebody's still holding on to the past. Somebody's damaged. I'm hearing records. Somebody could be keeping account of all the times that you have hurt them. But it's like this person isn't learning their lesson when it comes to you. So somebody... Okay, so pretty much this is what this person wanted from you. Temperance, the chariot, the four of wands. Like somebody tried to manifest a very secure family life with you, but they didn't get that. They got the ten of swords instead. And somebody don't know how to let that go. Give me an energy for the page of pentacles in the reverse. Why is the page of pentacles in the reverse here for Pisces? What is the energy? Why is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse here for Pisces? What is the message? The Knight of Wands. Something just could have been um, a purely physical relationship. Something was just based around intimacy. But this person expected more. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Pisces? Yep, the fool. Aquarius energy. Somebody feels like a fool. And then I'm hearing, I wish I never met you. Like, somebody's holding some type of resentment, animosity towards you. Give me an energy for the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? I'm also getting love me. Somebody wants you to love them. Somebody wants you to adore them. Give me an energy for the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for Pisces? Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to commit. Whoever this person is, they want a commitment from you. Real simple. Give me an energy for the two of wands. Somebody wants you to take action towards them. Why is the two of wands here for Pisces? I have the three of swords. And the knight of pentacles. I'm just getting sabotage. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's been hurt for a long time. It's like whatever this person is seeking after, they're not getting it. And that's why this Eight of Swords is here. Somebody's stuck in their head. They don't know how to get this out of you. Give me an energy for the Three of Swords. It definitely was a third party situation with the Three of Cups, Three of Swords. The number 33 could be significant. Something could have happened three times. The moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Somebody's hurt. They're secretly hurt. Somebody is bothered. Do you hear me? They've been feeling this way for a long time. Because they're not getting what they were expecting. Or Pisces, again, this is you. Give me an energy for the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Pisces? What is the energy? Why is the Six of Wands here for Pisces? What is the message? The devil. Oh, because somebody's in like their karmic energy. So somebody is too worried about attention. And what things look like. Somebody could be ruled by passion, lust. That's how the, this person views you. Or that's how you view this person. Somebody could have Capricorn, how he aspect it. Give me an energy for the Six of Wands. But something keeps happening over and over again. Yeah, the Emperor. So there's like a lot of people drawn to you or drawn to this person. Somebody could be like a boss figure, make major moves. I'm hearing money moves. And, and somebody gets a lot of attention. Somebody's well known, popular. Give me an energy for the devil. Why is the devil here for Pisces? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah. 
something has to do with the type of work you do, who you work with for some of you. I feel like for some of you too, like you're just focused on your career and your money. It's all about the pentacle. Give me an energy for the devil. Why is the devil here for Pisces? What is the energy? Why is the devil here for Pisces? What is the message? The page of cups. Um, friendly interactions. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Friendly interactions. Um, somebody's not really looking for anything serious. Like somebody really doesn't want to commit or settle down yet. Somebody's still having a good time. For some of you, this person is finding themselves where they feel like, you know, you're still finding yourself. Like somebody's just I'm hearing host. Like somebody still has their options open. Give me an energy for the three of pentacles. Or that's how this person views you as having your options open. Why is the three of pentacles here? And another three. So three, three, three. I'm also hearing warning signs. So you could have been warned or this person could have been warned about you, about this situation. Somebody could have been very persistent as well. Why is the three of pentacles here for Pisces? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. So I feel like this person secretly wants to know what you have going on, who you're dealing with, who you're working with, you know, who you're partnering up with, who you're being intimate with. For some of you too, this person is a friend. So for some of you, like there's a friend that's interested in you. And they want a commitment, but you're still entertaining options or you're this friend, Pisces. Give me an energy for the emperor. No, give me something for the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here for Pisces? What's the energy? Why is the page of cups here for Pisces? What is the energy? I keep hearing warning signs, death, scorpionic energy. Somebody feels like you don't care. You no longer care. Whatever transpired between you and this person, like things have changed significantly, drastically. Like it can never go back to the way it was, the way it used to be. Give me an energy for the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Pisces? What is the energy? Now give me something for death because that is standing out significantly five of yeah somebody feels like left out in the cold um they feel abandoned they feel like you abandoned them and they care about you give me an energy for the emperor why is the emperor here or this is how you feel why is the emperor here for pisces what is the energy? I have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups. I feel like for some of you, this person is going to still try to sneak their way back into your life some way. Now, for some of you, it's not this person necessarily trying to sneak their way back in, but like check up on you like somebody still want to keep tabs on you somebody still want to know what you have going on give me an energy for the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here for pisces what is the energy why is the seven of swords here for pisces what is the energy spirit the four of cups yeah somebody feels rejected they feel like you put people before them, other activities before them. They just feel rejected by you, abandoned by you, like you're focused on everybody else but them. They feel alone, isolated. Give me an energy for the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Pisces? I have the Tower and the Queen of Wands. <laughs> This person is already expecting for you to see somebody else. 
somebody's already expecting a tower like they know it's coming they know they're going to hear about somebody else you being in a relationship for some of you this tower may have already happened but five of cups somebody's like soaking crying over spilled milk they're hurt they also feel very vulnerable give me an energy for the queen of wands for some of you too somebody may not feel attractive enough Somebody's name could begin with the letter J. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands. The Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, Time has shown. I'm hearing time and time again that you're going to do what makes you happy. Like you are... It's giving me like a self-serving energy. Like at the end of the day, it's about you and, and what floats your boat. And you're not really worried about pleasing anybody else but self. Or that's what this person feels like time and time again. You choose you. Um, I'm hearing like instead of us. So instead of choosing, you know, the relationship that you may be in, it's like you're going to choose yourself like self-serving selfish <laughs> that's how somebody views you because you've shown that time and time again i feel like this person has experienced some towers nine of swords somebody's just all in their head i'm getting like a a significant worry energy somebody's like very worried a lot somebody worries a lot Somebody could also have a lot on their plate. Somebody's always in their head. Somebody is an overthinker. Give me an energy for the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Pisces? Two of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, you and this person are not talking. Um, you just are on two different pages. You you don't communicate. Rarely do, and if you do, it's You don't really see eye to eye. Give me an energy for... Like you don't know how to turn it around. Thank you, Spirit. Like somebody doesn't know how to change things. Give me an energy for the tower. Why is the tower here? For Pisces, what is the message? Why is the tower here for Pisces? The page of swords, the truth. That's what I'm getting. Like with this two of swords next to the page of swords, like somebody just needs to tell the truth. Somebody just needs to speak up like <sighs> I don't want to say regardless of how the other person feels, but, you know, it's it's not so much in, in what you say. Most of the time, it's how you say it. Like, still be conscious of the other person's feelings. But somebody just needs to speak up. Like, for some of you, what this person has to say or what you have to say, that's going to be the tower how this communication is going to happen how things are going to open like that's going to be the tower i'm hearing real somebody just needs to be real like it's time the star aquarius energy to the two of pentacles like it's just time there's like some communication like something is fated to happen here for you pisces with the two of pentacles to the star and just know that it's been a long time coming when it comes to you and this person Let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Pisces. What is the energy? Yeah, but everything starts with the truth. Give me a final message for Pisces. What is the energy? Okay. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. 
but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Somebody else got this card in the fire signs. Um, I am thinking that it's Leo. It's Leo that got this card. Yeah, somebody needs to heal. Somebody's still holding on to the past. And it's blocking them from elevating their growth. It's blocking them from like just fully accepting things as they are, or as they were, and just moving on. Yeah, somebody could be overly emotional as well. Um, for some of you too, this is somebody who remembers things, events, how they remember it. It's like, however this person perceives what transpired, it may not be the exact way that things happened, but because this masculine or feminine energy perceives it that way, then it's, it's their truth. It's the truth about the situation. So somebody's perception about the events could be very clouded. But it has a lot to do with their emotions. Like somebody um, really acts off their emotions. Somebody is very overly emotional. And somebody's holding a grudge. Yeah, somebody is holding a huge grudge here. Somebody definitely needs to heal. Um, so Pisces, this is your message. Take what resonates. Switch the roles as needed. Stay true to thyself. Real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.